for joining us, Danish. Yeah, welcome. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. So, what is the books and bricks special for today? Uh, a burgers. A burgers are special for today. Even the coffee is good. I'm Thank nice you. Thank it. you. You had it. Right. Well, Danish has joined us. He's a BBA and he also has a master's in financial management from London, where he also used to work in a burger bar. Right. As a chef. A co-chef. As a co-chef, right. and now he is a proud owner of this beautiful restaurant. Thank, Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Corner. Corner. Yeah. So, Danish, did you always want to be a restaurator? Really? It came to me after I worked there and I came back to this place and saw the opportunities here. I had a little bit of experience mm -hmm. and we thought there are opportunities over here. Okay. That's fine. So, your journey from uh, Kashmir to London and back, how has it helped you grow? And oh, same. Uh, opportunities, meeting people going to different lands and looking at their culture, seeing where the world has progressed to where the world is now. Okay. Um, you come up with good ideas, you come up with new things. Yeah. It, it has inspired me a lot. Well, working in London, did this thing uh, keep on going on back in the back of your mind that you maybe went back home no, you wanted no, to no, work, no, no, open no, up no, a restaurant? No, 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 never. Or did that thing that you were working in a restaurant, did that actually inspire you to start a restaurant of your own? Yeah, because I, uh, I was too addicted to that food. I wanted it there. <laughs> That's it. Uh, I eat about two, two or three burgers a day there. Okay. <laughs> so I was addicted to that food. Maybe it's for the sake of the burgers, you, you opened a restaurant for yourself so that you could eat you burgers, might, you could munch on burgers all day long. You must say that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, uh, yeah, the same burgers were in my mind, but mm -hmm. the problem arose that uh, you can't use beef here, so you have to use lamb or buff or okay. uh, things other than that. So, uh, we went to a consultant in Delhi. She prepared the burgers, we tasted them, we cancelled, we rejected. Then uh, gradually, after two or three months, we came up with our menu. Okay. What this is the menu, we have to make a place around it. All right. Not the other way around. Simple as that. It took us around three months to develop our menu. Okay. With that. And we made our recipes. Uh, I gave her ideas and she gave ideas. And this is how it happened. So these recipes are your own. You won't find them anywhere. You might find them anywhere. It is the world's a big place. Okay, you. So there's every possibility you might find them. Yeah. But it, it definitely we have. Um, yeah. The def definitely we have. Uh, we haven't copied from okay. anyone. We have just tasted and tried again. Right. Tasted and tried. Oh, I didn't like it. We sh should we add this? All right, add this. It must have been a very tiresome process, I must say. Not tiresome. It was. It was. Mm, uh, it was a happy process, I may say. Okay, because you were eating. Huh? Because we were eating <laughs> and cooking and stuff like that, and we loved it. We we really liked it. Well, Danish, tell us about the whole preparatory process. You know how the things work when you're actually planning to set up a restaurant. Say, so, uh, first of all, you need to have a menu. You okay. need to have a menu. You, you need to know what you want to prepare or what you want, uh, what you want people to eat. That's a, the first. This is the first step. Okay. After that. Uh, you choose other steps like uh, what kind of uh, place you want, where would you serve it. The third is who is cooking. Okay. The third is who is cooking. That's the most important thing too. Who is cooking. If you know uh, what's being cooked and how it's being cooked, then it's good. If you don't know how it's being cooked and what's being cooked, then it's a bad thing for you. Because some, some odd day, you might be short of workers. Who cook for you? Uh, who's, who does the work then? You have to do it. You should know it. So, this step is very important. You should know what's being cooked and how it's being cooked. And then other things just come to the place. They fall back into place. They fall back into place. How much time did it, did it take for the entire process to set up different things? A couple of years. Years? It started before floods. Uh -huh. and last year? Last to last, last year. Last to last year. Last to last year. Yeah. Last year. It started before floods. Yeah. With we actually, we didn't have a such a small plan to start it up. We had a big plan. Mm -hmm. We'll open a big, big, big uh, restaurant in CP Delhi. Okay. We were looking for places. We had uh, one place licked and then the flood came. Right. I came back to Kashmir. I stopped that work for uh, uh, quite a bit of time. My, my other friend, he started with this man. He was a small takeover restaurant. Mm -hmm. He too got disinterested in the big thing. And I ended up here. Danish setting up an enterprise, it's really this al always an element of risk involved. People are really, you know, skeptical about it. So, did you have any doubts? And if people who have these doubts, what would you tell them? See, it took me three months only to uh, set up a menu. 
So that's I calculated that if my menu is wrong, the place will just start good and it will end up getting beaten up because the food won't uh, food won't survive. So that's why I took the time, made the menu, and then I came into this business. And then I started serving people. If you say that okay, I invested this much money here, and uh, without risk, I would get this much money out of that. It won't happen. Since Kashmir Impulse is a youth magazine, mm -hmm. I would want you to give an advice or a suggestion to the youth who aspire to set up a business. Uh, what I suggest the youth to do is do something different. Do something different. Change the perspective that people, how people do it here. Change, totally change it. Change it. Yeah. That's how, would, how you would do it. That's how the, it will come to the limelight and, and the business will improve and it will uh, on the whole improve the society itself. Right. Yeah, because while doing a business you, you need to be socially responsible. Even. Well talking about being different, do you think that you are different than other I don't know. restaurants around here? I don't know, that's not, uh, I can't judge that. No, but you I must have been, you must have been to different restaurants before actually setting up your own restaurant. Yeah, I was inspired by many of them. I tried to be different, I don't know if I am or not. That's you to judge. <laughs> that's you to judge. No, I just had your coffee. <laughs> It's your uh, well, well, that's for for the for the people, no, obviously, no. because people go to different restaurants and then yeah. you know, they come to know. But still, you did try to be. The I tried to be different. That's it. Okay. Well, if you ask me, naming a place is really a tricky question. Okay, it's a tricky thing. No. It's a time-consuming process. Of How course. did you come up with uh, books and bricks? I think because I was angry. Are you <laughs> hungry or you're angry? Angry, angry. angry at what? <laughs> angry that we couldn't come up. We couldn't decide the name. I said, oh, okay. let it be books and bricks. Let it, let it be books and bricks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Okay, how many names did you consider? Around four. Four names. Yeah, okay, if one it was Walla, one was uh, Dain. As in Walla is in Walla. Yeah, Walla. Uh, Walla. Here it is. <laughs> Here it is. Uh, okay. One was Dynasty. Okay. I don't remember the other name. Dynasty. Yeah. There were four or five names. Okay. We came up. These two were the most. Uh, I would say They're quite relevant as well because you know you look at the different. If you look at the texture of the walls, the, the texture of the bricks, and you also have books. So that's that's how we came up with the name. Oh, we, yeah. have we have uh, <laughs> we have books and we have books. Yeah. Altogether, you leave aside the whole the restaurant thing. The food thing is like taken. You know, yeah. you, you didn't what's in the, the name? Food yeah. What's in the name? What's in the name? Okay, right. And by the way, I was looking around this place. I really like the interiors of this place. This is really a very novel idea for a wallpaper. Who did it? We did it. Uh, you did it. See, actually, we. Mm -hmm. uh, I may say, I was somewhere. I don't know where. Okay. I had a. I had a small idea of some newspapers on the walls right. and all. Mm -hmm. So I, I want I when uh, we're thinking of what to do with the wall, what to do with the wall. Right. I asked many of my friends should um, please uh, do it, do an art for okay. me, do something for me, do right. this for me, do that for me. Everyone was like, ha, yeah, ye karna, ya, wo karna, ye karna, ye karna. But I was not impressed with any of those. Okay. So I thought. That thing was coming back to my mind. Yeah, I had seen some newspapers on the wall, some newspapers on the walls. I liked it, I liked it somewhere. So I just asked my partner, should we do it? And he was like, okay. okay. Uh, so it's quite a novel idea, but I just want to ask you, was it a novel or was it some literary magazine or anything? It was, uh, it's a um, collector's edition of Reader's Digest. Reader's Digest, all right. Oh, so you were like gluing it up and sticking it up. Yep. Needed a lot of patience, I must say. Uh -huh. This whole place needed a lot, a lot of, of patience. patience. A lot of patience. Uh, this, uh, the, the ceiling. Ceiling. Yeah. It took us around a month to do it. Not us. The, the entire carpenters. Team, yeah. The carpenters took it around a month to do it. Manish, tell me about that day when you finally like were open. You threw this place open to public. What was the? What were you expecting? And what was the emotion like? I don't actually remember what happened outside, how okay. many customers came, how, who were the customers because I was all there in the kitchen. Really? It was the first day where to keep the mezzas, how, how much to make and how much not to make. Now I cut my finger too that day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you're actually making your debut in a new place, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Danish, who are your frequent visitors? Uh, mostly people don't come here to have their meals. They don't come here to have the dinner, they don't come here to have a lunch and to actually sit, to be cosy and to talk or to read or to write or right. to do whatever they want or to do their work. That's what I like about this, like about it. See, yeah, they don't want, they don't want this to be a place where they come and eat and go, eat and go, eat and go. They want to socialize here. 
one of the customers actually told me I felt young here. I loved it. I could, my place could do it. Could do this too. Yeah, I really loved it. He felt young here. Okay, <laughs> man, that's nice. Danish, are you a rock and roll fan? Because I was sitting here and I just heard a couple of rock songs, really rocking numbers. No, I'm not a there fan. Was, there was an ACDC song, you know. I really like it. Lo I, I love good music, simply okay. and plain. Be it good rock and roll, be it good Sufi, be it good uh, dubstep. Who picks up the music in this place? Mapana no, does. Uh, so you you don't. Don't, don't. You don't have a say. I don't have a say. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he doesn't have a say in my food. Okay. And I doesn't have a say. In so his you pick music. up the food and he picks up the music. Right, who, exactly. picks up, who picked up the books, by the way? Ba the both of you? The other friend. Oh, yeah. sorry. <laughs> we work together as a team. All right, all right. Danish, when you look back at your life and the things that you've done, do you think that you've been able to realize the goals that you set for yourself? No, nope, not yet. So you're still working for it. Okay, what what did you aspire for when you began your the, began the journey of your life? Uh, I think it changed every year. It was the latest, you know, ambition or the latest goal that you had. The latest goal I have to travel a lot. Okay. I want to travel a lot. For traveling, you need money. All right. Uh, you can travel without money too, but I want to travel with money, not without money. Uh, that's the latest I want to do. Nanish, uh, do you still cook? Sometimes. So can we go to the back of the house maybe? We could, we could go into the kitchen and you know, see your Midas touch. I, I, I don't have magic this, nor do I have a <laughs> Midas touch, but I can cook. I, okay. oh, I will cook for you. Should we get up? Yeah, what do you want to? Anything, anything and everything. I just want to see.